Oh, hello. I'm Merrick from Let's Get. Oh, this? I was just playing a game for Yokoi Kids, the monthly Game Boy Game of the Month Club of the Month. The great thing about it is anybody can contribute. I mean, they even let me on. This month we're playing a quirky little puzzle game called Quirk. Well, let's dig in. Quirk was developed by Atlas for the Game Boy in 1989 and originally released in Japan as Puzzle Boy, starring a potato named Spud. For some reason, when published and released in North America by Acclaim in 1990, Spud was changed to the radical titular tomato, Quirk. Why is that is? The popularity of killer tomatoes? The fact that his love interest is a tomato in both versions? They're both vegetables, or fruit, or potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Does a puzzle game really need a story? Nope, but Quirk does anyway. Quirk and his much less radically named girlfriend, Tammy, were out painting the town red, Get it? Because they both wed. When they decided to explore the labyrinth below their city. Naturally, Tammy suddenly disappears and Quirk with his veggie friends trademark have to navigate a maze to find Tammy. Anyway, the goal is simple. Navigate through the mazes and get to the staircase at the other side of the level. The controls are equally simple and this is the perfect kind of game for the Game Boy. It's not as simple as walking to the other end of the stage though because turnstiles, blocks, and holes stand in your way. Move the turnstiles and blocks the right way and pass through. Move them the wrong way and get stuck. Push the blocks to fill in holes and cross to the other side. Fill in the wrong spaces and maroon yourself on the wrong side. Luckily in one of the modes you can reset at any time if you mess up. There are three game modes, each with three difficulty levels. Easy, average, of all things to call medium, and of course hard. You also have the choice to change your viewpoint to either standard bird's eye or faux 3D diagonal. Personally, diagonal just kind of adds question to where you're standing on the screen, so I'd probably go for bird's eye view for its simplicity, but hey, if you're trying to be totally badical, you use diagonal. The modes include going up, heading out, and versus mode. For going up mode, there are 10 levels per difficulty level for a total of 30 levels, where the goal is just to get to the staircase at the end of each area. One cool thing about this puzzling puzzler is that you can switch to your veggie friends trademark that appear in some mazes and are required to get through certain puzzles, which adds an additional layer of complexity. Your friends include Curly Carrot, Eddie Eggplant, Pete the Pepper, Sash the Squash, and Tammy. Oh, the tomato, I get it now. Should have called her tubular to fit with the the attitude this game is apparently going for, but whatever. As I was saying, doing things in the right order is an absolute must in order to progress, or you'll just box yourself in. In heading out mode, the goal is to run through all 99 levels consecutively as quickly as you can to get the highest score possible. In versus mode, you can hook up to some shit, but since I have no friends, I, I wasn't able to try that mode. <laughs> This game is hard as heck and made me feel like a dunce because I couldn't get very far before getting squashed. When you're making headway, you feel pretty smart, but it didn't take too long before I got stuck. I'd like to think that this game is difficult, but maybe I'm just not quite ripe yet. As an aside, Quirk appeared as a character in the cartoon named The Power Team that ran as a part of the video game related show Video Power from 1990 to 1992. It starred other acclaimed video game characters like Kuros from Wizards and Warriors and Tyrone from Arch Rivals. It was pretty corny and reeked of that early 90s badicalness. Quirk would go berserk when someone would call him Tomato and not Tomato. What a rotten joke. Oh yeah. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Well, anyway. If you want to see more of that goofy Quirk related cartoon, check out the video cape commentaries in the links below. We did an episode of The Power Team and it's totally cowabungo, dudes! If you want to contribute to Yokoi Kids, see the link in the description. If you want to see more of my stuff, my most recent review is over here. If you're looking for a fresh squeeze, grab a copy of Quirk for under $10 and a tomato and dig into a challenging puzzle game that's dripping with ratitude. Ah, no, don't eat me!